Does this ever happen to you? Have you ever just regretted your life decisions? Well, I have a good solution. It's this video. Well, uh, the tier list in this video, it looks a little empty. But hey, with these PNGs, it will look pretty. Remember, this tier list is just my opinion. And yours might be wrong. And that's fine. Just know I'm always correct. Because I have a YouTube presence. The way I will judge the ruins rushing is by experience. And judging by the amount of hours I have on the game... I might be not that experienced. Wilson, 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 Wilson. Uh. Let's start with the one true character, Wilson. There is not much I can say about this guy apart from he's useless. Uh. His whole gimmick is that he can grow a beard. And that isn't any use in the ruins when all the BTD6 monkeys already grow their beards every two days because of the amount of black tar heroin that they've been eating and covering all over their body. Anyway, anytime I play this guy, I wish I was playing something else. So this is why he's getting put in unfun. I'm gonna say this right now. Willow is very fun for rushing the ruins. People never play Willow. And I feel like that's a sad thing because of the way the character works. Hey, Bernie is a tanking machine. And with the cheap cost that it comes with, you can get an army of these tanks. Anyway, I don't know what's so fun about her every time I play her, but it just brings me a smile every time. Every time. And that's why I'm putting this character into fun. One scare. to say anything about this guy? No. No, I don't. And that's why I'm not gonna say ah! Wendy. Wendy is boring. Yes, yes, I know. Very unpopular opinion, but I just had to get it out there. Wendy is so good, that it's not even fun to play her. Her ghost don't system care. can tank don't everything and stun care. lock pretty much care. everything. Her downsides are just, like, who cares? You're gonna be losing two damage per screen. It's just so boring to play this guy. Every time I'm playing this character, I wish I was WX78. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea if WX is even fun anymore. He used to be fun because you could have a power trip every time you go into the room with the amount of gears you could eat. But now all he does is heals from them. The whole attachment system is a little tedious anyway. Like, you have to wait for your stupid little robot to scan a dumb robot, and that's just a little boring. You just wait there for it to do something, and you go fall asleep because it's so slow. W -A. Do you want to see me dunk? Wicker bottom. You would think that the person with the extra IQ could be good. Well, I guess brains isn't everything when you go to an ancient ruins to get a yellow hat. The worst thing about her is that if you have blue caps and they're even 1% stale, you won't get any healing from it. Like, what? I'm not going to play a character that can't heal because, whoa, my food is a little yellow. And her abilities are so goddamn awful. There, there is no point in playing this character if you're rushing the ruins. Woody, Woody, Woody. Woody is just Wilson? That's it. I'm not even kidding. He has the exact same stats as Wilson. But now he has an infinite axe and can become a race car anytime he wants. The only negative that he has is that he will become a fur, even if he's six foot underground. Like, imagine being at his funeral and you lower him down and he just becomes a beaver from out of nowhere. To be honest, I don't even really know where to put him. He's not too fun, he's not too unfun, he's not broken OP, he's not bad. So I'm just gonna throw him off the chart. Wes! Maxwell. Maxwell is both fun and good at his job. His sanity can withstand all the problems that you would get from rushing ruins. His minions are good at mining all the statues that you're going to mine anyway. And for some reason, the bishops really <clears throat> don't care about if they mine it or not. What the dog doing? Wait, wait, wait.
Wigfred is pretty good, but it just feels like Wolfgang, but without any work involved. She has a very cheap hat that's basically a better football helmet, and she can craft a spoiled handbat with durability. Although, there are only like two issues with her. One is that she can only eat meat, and two is that she has very low sanity. Weber. Weber. I like this guy. He can literally make a whole army and completely dominate the ruins. Well, that is until Orange's corpse comes along and tramples every single spider I've ever had. This character is just very fun, just like Willow. However, he has very low sanity. And sanity is kind of a big deal in the ruins, unless you want to keep fighting millions of hordes of nightmare monsters, it's up to you. Weber. Winona, no, 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 no. Just saying, just saying. I never like Winona. We'll never like Winona. And it's just Wilson, but better. And then worse at the same time. Her hunger penalty every time she crafts something is so annoying as you're gonna craft like 400 hard hats. You're gonna have to stuff your face with meatballs for days so that you can, like, have your fingers move. Her ability is so like, whatever. The only good use for it is when you're mega basing. And guess what? I'm not doing that. I'm going to delete the world right <laughs> after. Whirly. I like this guy. People don't like him. I don't know why. It's definitely not because he's annoying to play. What are you talking about? I love figuring out what meals he has to eat. However, getting the resources for the meals is annoying. I just wish there was more Warly specific dishes I could make. So I don't have to think. Although his abilities are not good for ruins rushing, he is just fun to play in my opinion. Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Mortox. Eber can explain this one. Mortox has a few abilities which are helpful in the ruins. Soul hopping allows for a quicker exploration of the labyrinth and the atrium, as well as an easy way out of tough situations such as being chased by overwhelming amounts of monkeys and nightmares. Healing with them allows you to skip needing to get any blue caps. What may concern someone is food, but it's not difficult to manage since lacking is extremely abundant at the entrance of the ruins, and souls are also a fine source. While it is definitely harder to gather souls in the ruins, there are still a few good sources including slurpers, cave spiders, and monkeys if you're careful. Let's also not forget about the 7 to 8 souls the guardian draws. He's one of the better characters for Ruins Rush, and in my objective opinion, fun as well. This compost for brains, only purpose in life is to self-harm and get as many living logs as possible. He's not good for anything else other than that, although there are these little gnomes in this blue bio that give you living logs for just kicking them over. So, he's not even good for anything in the ruins. He should be, like, in base where he belongs and, like, talks to, like, a sunflower from PVZ2. I don't know. He's pretty good at being fast and he doesn't have a sanity problem, but all of that just goes away as soon as you get hit by a single guard in BTD6. I really don't know what to say about this guy. He's like really, really good if you're gully. And the last one, Wanda. Ooh, yippee. She has to go to Edgy Rick's basement anyway, so rushing ruins with her is a no-brainer. And her abilities are very, very good, like really good. However, you need a shadow manipulator to even have anything. So before you can do that, you're gonna be Wilson, but with less health. Stop moving me! That's all guys, like I said, I'm correct. And if you have any other opinion, please comment down below so the algorithm thinks that I'm very engaging.